Hi guys, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to go over the cuboid and cuboid manipulation. Um, first, a lot of times the cuboid will be misplaced by an inversion sprain, and sometimes what happens is the, the foot will go into inversion, the cuboid won't keep up with it, and it'll be more of an everted position. So what we need to do is to palpate it. We want to go down, we're going to find the fifth metatarsal. So we go down to the bottom of the fifth metatarsal, and right behind it is where the cuboid is going to be. We could do motion testing, okay, up and down. We could also do a quick test is to keep the ankle dorsiflexed, take this ray and just try to push up. And you'll just see, when we compare to the other side, she just blocks. There's not a lot of dorsiflexion through that fourth and fifth ray. If we do the other side, bend this leg up. And you want to be able to see, if I do this, if I come into dorsiflexion, now this leg, you see how it moves easily up and down. So that's moving well. Good, bring this one down again. We want to be able to palpate it, and if it can't have that motion, the manipulation is just to try to get that, to distract that cuboid from the calcaneus. Okay, so the technique is your hand, top hand, on the inside hand comes on, comes on to the cuboid. The other hand comes in, and will push down on top of your thumb. Okay, so you can have the patient come over the edge. Now remember, you've already done all your testing. There's no instability in the ankle joint. So you decided that the cuboid needs to be mobilized or manipulated. So we're on that spot. Our hand is, comes in. What you do is you have the leg over the edge. Okay? You're in this position. What you're doing now is you squeeze your hands together. Okay? You okay with that? Okay? And what you do, the manipulation is just kind of sit back and make your knee, straighten out your knees. So it's just that motion. Okay? So you can come back. And you come back and you retest. And you'll see that there's a little bit more ankle and uh, fourth and fifth rate dorsiflexion. Okay, the follow-up is exercise to maintain that mobility and homework-wise, have them go through ankle circles, mobility, moving that joint themselves. You can teach them how to self-mobilize. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.